Hey guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because my um, Scentsy Mardi Gras collection and the Bring Back My Bars have arrived. And so I thought what a perfect time to go ahead and do a first sniff and kind of give you just my first overall impressions. I won't have any warm reviews in this video that will either come either in a separate video or in an empty it just kind of depends on how I decide to do it. But if you are interested in this video, then please stay tuned. Okay, so um, I am excited. I have everything organized. I have all of the scent notes um, looked up. So wish me luck. We will start, we're gonna start with the Mardi Gras bars. For those of you all who don't know, I always look them up on my iPad, which is why you will see me looking down to see the scent notes. But um, also, I do not order all of the bars out of the Mardi Gras collection or out of the Bring Back My Bars. I literally just ordered what I was interested in or what sounded interesting to me. There were a couple I was just like, absolutely not. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first one that I got out of the Mardi Gras collection because it intrigued me is Midnight Masquerade. And the scent notes for this, look, and I still got these. Oh no, I didn't get them backwards. Okay, Midnight Masquerade scent notes are, I said I had them all pulled up, but I forgot to click over this one. Sugared beignets and smoky vanilla dance behind delicate mask of Midnight Lily. And if I did mention, I have not smelled any of these. I was so tempted, which is why I was like, let's just film now. This box just got here like an hour ago. Huh, okay, this is an interesting scent. So I kind of like I'm warming it up a little bit. I get more of the smoky vanilla and I guess the lily. I don't necessarily get any of the sugared beignets, but it's an it's an interesting scent. I kind of like it so far. So we'll see how that does on warm. Next, I have Street Parade, which is um a jamboree of blood orange and juicy plum toss bright green pineapple beads in celebration. So I love plum, blood orange is becoming an, enjoy, an, an enjoyable scent for me, and obviously pineapple. Oh, this is good. I mainly get pineapple. Mmm, it's like a nice juicy pineapple with hints of plum. Oh, that's really nice and fresh. I don't know if I necessarily get a whole lot of blood orange. Maybe a little bit in the background, but it smells really good. So I'm excited to give that a try as well. And I saved this one for last out of the three because I was most excited about this one. And this is King Cake. And King Cake is a sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky notes of golden butter. See? Ooh, that smells really good. Mmm. This smells like what I wanted um, caramel praline cake to be. Mmm. This smells really good. It smells really rich and decadent. This is one. Oh, there we go. Let's get it to pop out. If you hear any noise in the background, the dogs are hanging out in here. My daughter's hanging out in here. So, come on. Mmm. This smells really good and rich and buttery and decadent. I can't wait to warm that and see how that does on warm. I'm hoping it's a better performer than Caramel Praline Cake for me was. So those are all of the Mardi Gras scents that I picked up. The Creme de Menthe, I was like, eh, and I'm also not necessarily a fan of peach scents, so I decided to forego getting those to grab a couple of more of the Bring Back My Bar scents because they were a lot that I was interested in. I got, that's one, two, three, four. Um, I got 12 bars. And so let's go ahead and hop in. The first one, how did I get these out of order? I thought I did it, oh no, I did it backwards. Okay, so the first one is toasted apple butter. And the scent notes for that are creamy butter blended with rich apples accented with, with rich spices. Ooh, this smells nice. Mmm, mmm. 
this is an apple scent I could get behind. It's cinnamon. It's definitely cinnamon forward to me. Like I get a lot of cinnamon, but not too spicy. I get the apple, but it's not like a Mac apple. It's like a sweet baked apple. Mmm. And maybe a little bit of that butter. I like that more than I thought I was going to. So next we have caramel sugar cone. And that is a guilt-free gooey caramel vanilla sugar cone and a touch of malt. Hmm. This is interesting. Oh man. So when I warmed it up, I got something a lot different. So... I definitely get vanilla. Mm. And I get caramel, but it's not like a sickeningly sweet caramel, but it is. It almost kind of smells like, you know, those caramel candies, like the caramel squares that come like wrapped in like the clear plastic. That's almost what it kind of smells like. Mm, okay. This is one I will probably just have to warm to see, but. To my nose, it smells a little bit more like perfumey than I thought it would. And maybe that's the malt scent. I'm not sure, but there's that one. Out of the two, I like toasted apple butter more on cold. Excuse me. And the last one in this first set of three is blood orange spice. And this is a sweet tart trio of candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick that will satisfy your autumn obsession. Oh, this is interesting. Mmm. All right, so on the top, I get mainly like that blood orange. Mmm, with like little hints of cinnamon. But then, on the back, I get some of that red apple. I'm sorry, candied apple, but apple. Mmm. I actually really like this, so... I mean, I don't know if it's like club worthy or anything, but it smells really nice. So those are those three. So next we're going to the next set of three, which is starting with everything nice. And here's everything nice. And this is sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. reminiscent to me of forever fall although now that I'm still on the back of this bar I know that's that pumpkin puree mm. it smells like fresh pump well when I say fresh pumpkin like pumpkin fresh out of a can like just can pumpkin without like a lot of sugar or anything but then the butter and caramel kind of helps to sweeten it up. This is either one I'm going to really enjoy on warm or it's going to turn my stomach. <laughs> so I will probably warm like a couple of cubes in a spare room just to see. It's interesting. Okay. Next we have ooh, toasted caramel sugar. And this is warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee all swirled together with a scent of silky sweet vanilla musk. Ooh, this definitely, this smells more like that caramel, those caramel squares I was talking about than the, than the caramel sugar cone. Oh, that smells really good. It definitely smells like just like those, um, is that Werther's? I can't remember who does those little caramel squares. You know what I'm talking about. At least those who are millennials and up know what I'm talking about. Mmm, this smells good. This smells really good. Mm, I really, really like that. Oh, I definitely get the caramel. A little bit of that. Um, to me, it smells like caramel. They say it's caramelized sugar, which I guess is what we can call it. I get some of that vanilla. Mm, and even a little bit of that toffee. Mm, okay, so we'll have to warm it and see how that does as far as performance. Next, we have... Vanilla walnut. And this is a warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. 
Ooh, this is interesting. It definitely smells like vanilla and walnut, but I just wasn't sure what to expect. I guess if you've ever had like the walnut ice cream from like a Cold Stone, a Marble Slab and Creamier, it reminds me of that. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I keep saying mmm, but I really, really, uh oh, I really, really like that one. So, okay. I'm sorry, I was just kind of trying to pull to the side like what I think are favorites of mine so far. Next, we have cranberry mango. And I love cranberry and I enjoy mango scents as long as it's like mixed with something else. And this is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> it's kind of like, like it took me so long to speak because I feel like all three of those notes hit you kind of in the order that they listed it. Yeah, I get that tropical mango. Mm, followed by that cranberry, which I love. It's actually a nice combination. You don't often find cranberry mixed with mango because cranberry, I feel like it's used more in like fall and winter wax. Mm, little hints of that pineapple. Now I don't find the pineapple to be spicy. I don't smell anything spicy about it. Oh. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, next we have Amaretto. And Amaretto is an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. Oh, this definitely smells like Amaretto. Mm. Oh, this smells good. It's To me, this is like that cherry almond. Oh, I tell you what. It smells like this is going to be a powerhouse. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, now I don't know if I necessarily get honey. Mm. There's like a little tiny hint of spice. But I mainly just get that almondy amaretto, which to me smells very cherry leaning. It's a cherry almond to me. Oh, but it smells really good. Oh, that's really, really, whoo, really good. Okay, what do we have next? Ooh, next we have Whipped Vanilla Pear. So this is a luxuriant caramel glaze top baked pear and whipped vanilla. I also really enjoy pear scents and wax. Okay, this is interesting. Mmm, it definitely smells like pear with like something sweet on top. Mmm. It's good though. Mm, that's really good. <laughs> I'm over here like, how do I pick favorites? How, how, how? Okay, next, I got, again, I put these out of order. I got crazy coconut. And this is coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. Ugh. Ugh. Mm-mm. <laughs> This is that super waxy smelling coconut from Scentsy. Mm -mm. Now when you rub it and kind of warm up the wax some, I get more of that mixed fruit and vanilla ice cream, but I'm not sure if I would love this one. I don't love it as much as I thought I would, at least not on cold. It's something about sometimes Scentsy's coconut is super waxy smelling to me. Next, we have Frosted Ginger Cookie. And this is Chewy Brown Sugar Cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. Ooh, this is interesting. I don't know if I get cookie out of it. First off, the first thing that hits me is the ginger. <laughs> okay, let me start there. I get ginger with hints of vanilla. I don't know if I get like a cookie note. This is very ginger forward. Mm, I would have to warm that and see. <laughs> Ooh, it's strong though. Mm. I feel like I sniffed it and like I can taste it in my mouth. Like that's how strong that is. All right, and the last one that I picked up is Strawberry Sweetie. And this is a fruity delight of juicy strawberries sprinkled with sugar.
Okay, come on. Sorry, I'm trying to get the bar out. There we go. So I can smell the back of it before I let you know my thoughts. So this is very artificial smelling to me. I don't love it. It's okay. Which is kind of surprising because I thought I would like more of the fruit ones than I do. Okay, now we got to figure out like this one I know for sure. Oh, let me see. Let me smell a couple more of them. Mm. All right, so I think I got them. My top. I'm gonna say my top four because these are the ones that really impress me the most. Cranberry mango almost made it in, but I kind of feel like while cranberry isn't always like in summer wax, it's not like anything that I haven't smelled before. But these are the ones that I really enjoyed. So vanilla walnut. Ah, oh, vanilla walnut smells so good. I cannot wait to warm this. I might give this a try just in my entire open concept to see how it does. Then amaretto. Ooh, ooh. She is good and she is strong. Oh, I cannot. She smells amazing. And then next we have whipped vanilla pear, which I think smells really nice. Mmm, that smells really nice. It's like a fresh but fruity, sweet, a little bit of caramelized sugar on top. It smells really good. And then lastly for me is toasted apple butter, which I'm kind of surprised about. But I really like this apple scent. And like I said, it's cinnamon forward. It's kind of spicy, but it smells really good. So those are my top four out of everything that I got. Also, a king cake is my favorite <laughs> out of the um, Mardi Gras collection. Oh, it smells divine. It smells very rich though. So like if you don't like a super rich, buttery, sticky, sweet type of scent, it may not be for you. But those are my first sniffs and my initial impressions of everything that I picked up from the Bring Back My Bar and the Mardi Gras collection. I was super excited to try the Mardi Gras collection because Louisiana girl here. And I was super excited to try the Bring Back My Bar because when I first started with Cincy, I caught like the tail end of their June Bring Back My Bar. I had no idea what I was doing and I got to try like a couple of the scents. I think the only one that I ended up clubbing was Churro Churro. So I'm excited to enjoy these, um, warm these, see if any of them are like club worthy for me or do I just want to pick up like a six pack and then, you know, just enjoy those and once I'm done, I'm done. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I would love to know, have y'all ordered any of the scents from the Bring Back My Bar or from the Mardi Gras collection if you have? Which one is your favorite? Which one do you absolutely love? And if you've warmed any of these, I would love to know like what performed the best for you on warm. So if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this, then I would absolutely love if you would decide to subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.